what the hell? Driving against red. Hey, hey. What's up, guys? Hope most of you quit work now and maybe can watch. There is a trailer. This truck is really flimsy and weird and unfortunately I couldn't get the wheel because that's going it's very shaky it's gone only 100,000 kilometers so it's very fresh and new It doesn't seem like my exposure protein settings are working when I'm live streaming. It doesn't seem to be minus one like it should be. It seems very bright, but ah, I guess it's watchable. Anyways. So I've got to be careful because this truck feels very flimsy and hard to control. I don't know why if somebody has drove into the curb somewhere and damage the steering but it feels very weird I don't know we have another one of these trucks so I'll I guess I'll compare it to that one later on but these semi trailers are you know notorious for being a lot flimsier than the rigid box trucks <clears throat> Maybe the maybe the tires aren't pumped up. I did a safety check, but I forgot to check the tires. And also we have the rear light is broken and I was looking all over the truck for any replacement bulbs, but I couldn't find any, so yeah, I don't know. Jeez, this truck is so flimsy. So strange. Oh well. It doesn't feel like we have a flat tire at least, so we should be good. Maybe it's just too little air in them. Or it's, or it's just a truck. Uh, the clock is now 17.40 here in Stockholm, Sweden. The sun is gonna set in like two or three hours. And now I'm getting hungry, wow. Finally. <laughs> I thought what's wrong with me because I have not been hungry in six hours ago I ate my breakfast. Okay, let the motorcycle pass us here. There you go. Oh, nice camper van. Uh, it's like one of those that I drove but not with the top bed there. We had, uh, I think it's a lot nicer with the long beds in the back. Where are we going today? Uh, we are going to Lidinga Island Which is like half an hour from here, so it's gonna be a nice relaxing drive With the sun setting uh, should have now Thinking about putting my sunglasses ready, but I think we'll be good to go so let's see how the power is. We're now in 70 kilometers an hour. I don't know how much load we have. It's not so heavy. 75. And... So, 89. 80. There we go. Good power. Cruise control. 
And now a focus. It's very flimsy. I need to focus. How tall are we though? I don't know how tall we are. If we are 4.5, I think so. So not sure if I'm gonna take the city way through the city or around the city. I think we're gonna go around the city, yeah. And now the rush hour traffic should have stopped, so it should be all smooth sailing. I really like these trucks where you sit higher up. They have such a nice view. We're gonna have great view then on the Essing 11 bridge, uh, the motorway bridge going through Stockholm there. Let's listen to some tunes, yo. Oh, we're gaining a lot of speed here. All of a sudden, I'm up in 90. What is that, a bus behind us? Or some red thing? Ah, oh, it's so flimsy. It's really hard to control this thing. What the hell was that? It just went to the left by itself. Jeez. Wrong with this truck? Yeah, it was a bus. I like uh, Scania new generation, my favorite. But I would choose this one, the Volvo FH, over uh, all generation Scania because it's so quiet and you got this very light steering wheel. Look, I'm turning, but it's not turning. Very dangerous truck, man. Hope we'll be all right. This is worrying me. I'm a bit worried now. Guys, pray for me. <laughs> we'll, we'll just take it easy. Gonna focus 100% on the driving here. Oh, we're gaining too much speed again. No, I did. No reason to echo roll with this truck really you just have it in the in the regular mode there because if I put it one up on the help brake it will echo roll so I'll just have it one down I guess like these seats however you can't push them down and you can't how do I release the air I want to release the air pressure but I can't figure that out there's no button for that cool you're from Japan It's gone 100,000 kilometers. That's a fresh looking Audi, it almost looks like a Mercedes. Now he's getting closer, okay. There you guys go. Move out of my way. You don't want to be smushed <laughs> with this flimsy truck. Everybody, watch out. <laughs> Keep distance. You got a social distance here, man. kind of have to over exaggerate the steering corrections as you see here <laughs> oh my gosh this is crazy I'm definitely gonna check that out when I arrive like I should actually even stop and check that out but uh, there is not much I can do to it anyways if I stop like what can I do so yeah rather just continue
Yeah, exactly. The truck is like new. Uh, I don't know. Somebody has uh, driven into something and destroyed the steering. Man, hey, stop echo rolling. Uh, how do I stop it? Uh, put in manual, then it stops. All right, gas it up now. Come on. There's not enough hill to echo roll here, man. Let's keep 80. How do you guys like the radio? Should I turn it off? Or the volume? It's a bit hard to read the comments though. I'm gonna re-upload this in full HD quality. So you guys know. It should save to the memory card on the GoPro. Yeah man, the, the truck should feel like new, even up to like 1 million kilometers, so how do you say? You know, it should feel like new all its lifetime. The problem is when people uh, abuse the truck and crash into curbs and stuff like that, then the truck gets worn. Otherwise it should be like new all its lifetime actually, I think. So the curbs are your enemies, guys. Take care of the trucks. Don't stress. Take it easy. As long as the heater works, yeah. Hey, from Denmark. Yeah, I have reached uh, above 100 kilometers an hour in a downhill before when I was a newbie. That was not good. Luckily, I never got a police inspection. You know, they check for the last 28 days on the computer card here, and they can see if you have been overspeeding, then you will have super high fines. You know, we pay everything. The company doesn't pay a thing, really. If we park the trailer somewhere and uh, they find the trailer, we have to pay it. And if we're driving with overload, we have to pay super high fines. And then also the company pays if it's overload. But parking fines, you pay yourself. Yeah. And you are always responsible for the load. No matter what, it's always the driver. So never just jump in and drive if somebody else has loaded the truck. Jump in the back and check that it's okay, you know, and it's not overweight. And even though it's under the weight limit, it might be overweight on a single axle if they have not distributed the load in the trailer correctly. Metallica, yeah, we hope uh, I should turn that down. I don't want to get any copyright issues here. Or maybe just shut it off. The radio is fine by me, okay. It's going nice and straight. I guess there's not anything wrong. I guess it's just a model, and maybe the tires are not pumped up. Nice and quiet in here. Oh, look at that little red car! It's so small. Hello down there. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna take a right into the Southern Link Tunnel and I'm probably gonna have network issues now so the stream is probably gonna cut out. I come back, yeah, this is my second drive for tonight or for this evening. Just loaded this thing up recently uh, with the colleague. 
Oh, I don't like driving here with this flimsy truck so close to the wall. Oh shit, gotta focus, gotta focus. I kinda wanna stay in the middle almost and block them to my left side here. Stress level is increasing. I could put on my warning blinkers as well if I'm unsure, then people will maybe back off a bit. But there we go, it all went good, all right. Down in the tunnel we go. Uh, this is a semi-trailer. I have the semi-trailer back there. I don't know how long we are, maybe 18 meters or less. Yeah, few natural exceptions, yeah, and in Sweden we can be fined for overspeeding with the tachograph. So the radio cut out, I guess the live stream is probably gonna cut out now as well. Not only that, he's screwing up our speed here. Come on, gas it up and put on your lights, bro. <laughs> guys, we got an Oblivion NPC driver. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have been seeing those, but if you want a good laugh, <clears throat> search on YouTube for Oblivion NPC. Uh, what was that song? Oh yeah, I love that game, man. Oblivion used to play that. How do I? What is? Where is the sun visor? Ouch! All oh, right, I forgot. It's uh, electric. Uh, oh, then you can't see shit. <laughs> oh, so the connection seems to have worked in the tunnel. I'm surprised. Awesome. Oh. 75 too fast or oh, wait isn't it 80 here no it's 70 yeah okay never says a thing they're telling it's a big police uh, operation going on right now for some reason that we cannot know like oh okay great <laughs> of course they never tell us a thing <laughs> and that I don't like so much that's the uh, dead angle warning that horn, it, what, he, he didn't horn, it was the truck. It's like warning me that there is a car in my dead angle. Pretty cool, but pretty annoying. I don't really need that. I don't know how to turn that off. Oh, there, no. Hmm. Power short dish. Yeah, 
I just read about something also in Sweden somewhere. I don't remember where. Blekinge Kommun municipality. They had the worst water, drinkable water in the whole world. <laughs> it's funny because Sweden has boasted about having the best drinkable water in the whole world. And now we had the worst and uh, the citizens are trying to sue the water company because there's so many PFS, uh, PFCOs that compounds or uh, chemical in the water. Oh, that was pretty rough. Here is the beautiful view from Essingeladam. Wow, we're sitting so high up. It's like a cinema. Oh, you don't want to be driving with something fragile here on this road. It's so bumpy. gas truck I don't notice any difference really though uh, on the power and stuff compared to the regular diesel trucks and it sounds kind of the same only when you start it, it it takes longer time to start it for some reason so I guess about 20 or 15 minutes left now maybe less even and then I'll shut stream off here is tools look at the tracks in the asphalt here wow it's so deep people have been driving with overweight I guess Now we are exiting Stockholm city, over to our left is Bromma, Solna, Sundbyberg and to our right we can also go back into the city again but we are gonna go into Lidinge and then I think we are actually gonna take the E20 way here so let's switch to that, no card here. coming up on our left side with the yellow dim lights looking pretty good man and the curtain and everything got the Michelin on the top <laughs> nice truck <laughs> 500 and oh it's a 500 now Wow, it's very long. What is that? That's a tandem, isn't it? Got a drag truck and a small trailer and a dolly trailer or kärra in Swedish. And there is that strange looking building with some black thing on the top. What is that? Is that a helicopter back there? And this place is new. Uh, Life City Come grow with us. I guess it's for shopping then We make people grow. Okay, how are you gonna do that? That's from Finland, huh? Sumi Lainen Kitos Perkele That's just that's like all the finish I know. Oh yeah, 
those those things are pretty hard to reverse I think but there are even worse there are those I don't know what they're called link I think I think they're called link those um, have three pivoting points when you're going to reverse this one has only one like a regular car and trailer Yeah, 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 I know he's there. You don't have to warn me. Oh, he's driving so close to me there. You know, I need to reduce my speed so I don't go so close to that car. And he was like up in my arse. <laughs> I get stressed when people drive too close to my rear even though you you don't care so much about that when truck driving it's worse if you're in a car but it, I can still feel feel the stress kind of when, even in the truck when it's driving so close but I shouldn't be because there's no problem for me if he drives into me really but uh, ah, then we'd have to stop and you know make insurance shit Uh, I'm very close to my destination now, so I'll shut you guys off soon. Yeah, this is the motorway. And we do have the freezer in the back on, so that's the noise there, if you can hear it. It's not that loud, it's, it's a very quiet truck, so it doesn't go through the cabin. starting to get the hang of the truck it, it's pretty smooth actually you just gotta I guess I guess uh, most semi trailers are like this compared to the rigid box trucks which are you know 13 14 meters long this one is maybe just five meters long We have a semi trailer, so we're not 25 meters now. <laughs> I wonder if I should eat my food before I deliver, though. I haven't eaten now in like six hours. Getting pretty hungry. Hmm, 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 hmm. Tough decision, man. Ah, uh, yeah, I should eat my because I have two meals actually. So I need to I need to eat now so I can eat my other meal also later on. You know, I I only have one dinner break but uh, if I do it quick then I can have another one I think a short one I, I am half uh, Finnish by the way <laughs> but I can't speak Finnish because I'm actually from this island called Åland where they speak Swedish. It is located between Sweden and Finland. <laughs> There's nice views. Very nice weather. In it. <laughs> Leaving at stud. Here's where all the rich people live. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> That's what I've always thought. I bought a bike right over there in the village with the nice houses and they were rich. He had a garage where he had a... Oh, what? I forgot to close. Oh shit, that hurt. 
I was searching for the light in the to the back. That brake light, or not the brake light, and then I forgot to close the hatch. Uh, anyways, yeah, he had us a uh, racing car up on uh, he had raced it up, and underneath that, he had uh, a boat, I think, and he had all kinds of bikes, all kinds of equipment. Man, that guy was pretty rich. Uh, I think he was the boss for a climbing center uh, located here somewhere, or yeah, it was new, I think. I don't remember the name. But it, that was really nice. I, I love buying second-handed things from people because you maybe if they are kind of nice, you get to see their. Uh, I need to wait for the cars to go here. You get to see their house and stuff. I have my left blinkers on. Nobody cares. Oh my God! Stop! 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 Oh, I could have maybe made this. But you see, it cuts so much, so I don't want to risk anything, so I just do it like that. Thank you that you wait a little strange looking, kind of cool looking Volvo. Hope it's not electric though. No, it's a diesel. D3. No, it's not that new. The newer ones are a lot uglier. Or that one wasn't even that ugly actually, but the new ones are. Super ugly, I think. So yeah, I need to eat my food. Hmm, can't decide though if I should have my coconut bean bean uh, mix. It's uh, actually vegan, I think. But who cares? It's uh, it's good with some some fiber and beans sometimes, maybe. Or I'll just now I probably feel like shit. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that attacking your nuts. Yeah, man. Volvo doesn't like me. It's throwing books at me. What the hell? It's a pretty cool book, by the way. I looked into that. It's like the welcome package when you buy the truck. And it shows everything. Asleep. <laughs> you guys understand why I like this truck? It's so freaking quiet. It's even quieter than the new gen Scanios, I think. I don't prefer anything, I like the variation. The engine is a 460 horsepower, six cylinder, something. Somebody, somebody, answer the guy <laughs> for me. <laughs> I don't know. And the steering wheel is so freaking light and smooth. 